song she said have I got a little story for you what you thought was your daddy was nothing but a while he was sitting home alone at age 13 your real daddy was dying sorry you didn't see him but I'm glad we talked oh I oh I'm still alive yeah 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 oh I'm still alive hey yeah yeah oh I'm still alive hey oh while she walked slowly across a young man's room she says I'm ready for you I can't remember anything to this very day except the look the look oh you know where now I can't see well, I just stare, I'm still alive, yeah, 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 oh, I'm still alive, yeah, 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 oh, I'm still alive, yeah, yeah, oh, oh, yeah. Is something wrong? Of course there is. Well, you're still alive, she said. Oh, but do I deserve to be? Is that the question? And if so, if so, who answers? Who answers? I, oh, I'm still alive, yeah. Yeah, wah, yeah, Ooh. all right, we're testing out our ranges. The notes that I have to go through the head mask are still pretty painful. Hey, I'm Gravity Groove, welcome to Not Safe for Work. <sighs> Magic the Gathering. Oh my god. I gotta stop doing that. Okay, so we're still practicing the head notes. And they don't feel right. The doc said the uh, part of the, the surgery cuts nerves that connect to the uh, a soft palate roof of the mouth. And trims some nerves around the sinuses. So I'm not feeling the responses that I'm used to, fe to feeling when I'm trying to go through those note cycles. The power is still there from the diaphragm coming up through the chest note. But as soon as I start to push into mixed, which is the mixed voice where you're pulling up from your diaphragm through your chest and mixing into the head, uh, I start to have a little trouble in making the notes uh, go exactly where they're supposed to go. This is definitely an interesting process. I'm fairly confident we can get back to where we were, but it, it bothers me that there's even a slight bit of doubt because I still don't know for sure and that sucks uh, in the meantime we already sang that one uh, we are looking at a Rakdos deck now for those of you familiar with the channel you know that Rakdos is uh, one of my favorite archetypes I tend to like decks that uh, allow for you to sort of slowly eke out advantages through clever play and uh, trading of resources and Rakdos tends to do that pretty well uh, this is a pretty standard off-the-shelf list at the moment. 
Uh, there are minor differences with lists you'll find floating around, but this is pretty standard at the moment. Now, uh, I don't have a lot of experience piloting this. I have basically none. So I'm just leaving it and the sideboard basically as stock because I don't know what we're going to struggle with, what we're going to need more tools to face. So this is what we have. We have a lot of a lot of kill spells. Obviously, we've got uh, five one mana spells to kill things. We've got heartless axe. We've got the uh, shades is part of an inevitability engine. The curve of the stack is remarkably low. It actually looks more like a modern deck in terms of how low the curve is. Uh, we've got murder riders. We've got bone crushers. We've got all these lovely ways to kill everything. And uh, eventually the hope is that we just win with inevitability. I feel like looking at this list right away, I'm going to cut a swamp for a, uh, a castle. I feel like this needs to have at least one castle in it. Seems crazy to me that it doesn't. Um, yeah, at least one castle. That just makes sense to my brain parts. So I think we're got, we've got to be all the way back on bronze. For I have no idea. We're gonna start wherever we are here, folks. I'm told this deck is good against rogues because they mill you into uh, ox and croxa. Hence why this is named uh, Rad Ox, because Crox has ox in it and ox has ox in it. Told it's a good match against uh, Mill, though. So we sort of have we sort of have four lands. Uh, if we keep this, we have Meyer Triton on two. I guess this works. It's going to take a lot of learning for me to understand my keeps again with these dual face lands. Uh, this is like my first time playing with dual face lands, so figuring out what's keepable and what isn't is going to be a challenge. This looks like it is, in fact, the, uh, the rope deck. This is definitely going to be a learning experience for me. into our proxy, which seems fine. Um, we don't really need... Th oh, I guess we could use three mana now. Uh, we do need to find another black mana at some point pretty quickly if we want to be able to utilize this Croxa. For now, I think this is probably fine. Calls the dead. So we're stuck on mana, which is a pretty typical problem with uh, with me in these games. <laughs> but we're not really in that bad a position, so. Losing a lot of black swords, unfortunately. That was pretty ideal. 
So, as you know... Oh, it's like all lands. As you know, it's almost certain that our opponent either has a flash creature to block here, or they're just going to drown in the lock. Uh, my... Croxa. So... I think we start forcing them to, and casting Croxa reduces the effectiveness of their other cards, so I think that works. Can we not try to cast this? So 10 out of 10, this is getting drowned in the lock. Which is fine. He's just going to keep filling up our graveyard with Croxa. Which is why I'm told this deck does good against the mill deck. They just keep doing what we want to do. This is only a permanent spell, so it doesn't recast around it a lot. peaks here. These are both pretty good. I think we can leave those. So we're going to start off with getting this block out of the way. As we know, we have Bone Crusher and uh, Heartless Act. So we can deal with the Loras. Well, that kind of sucked. act here. Gives us Bone Crusher into Ox next turn. Seems pretty good. He probably just can't beat us game one. Game two, they bring in like Tormod scripts and things, and that makes it a little more complicated. Uh, 
Uh, do I want to kill this first? Does it really matter? know what the mill lists uh, are comprised of but it seems like nightmare is good here seems like shredded sails is probably good here I don't think we want graveyard removal effects right I'm uncertain honestly so because they're milling us, we can probably remove some of our mill effects. Um, cut a couple Meyer Tritons. Cut a couple Calls the Deads. Scavenger seems particularly good in this matchup. And, huh. We're kind of figuring out how to sideboard this as we go along, so. Uh, I guess Thundering Rebuke kills the big gargoyle thing. I don't know if you want to rest in this matchup. Yeah, I honestly don't know. Okay. Feel free to comment uh, in the comments about what you think it should be sideboarding in and out in this matchup. This, this is bad. This is pretty bad. Um... land. I wonder if this is a matchup where you actually go about the cards from the sideboard. Like is that a thing you would want to do? We're gonna leave that there because we've got to know it. And huh. Mana is pretty awkward at the moment. We kill this. I don't think we kill this.
Okay, so we've got an ox we can literally cast already. Interesting. Uh, still have... Still have awkward mana, unfortunately. goes well we can double spell next turn some combination of kill spell and critter or we can just cast croxa assuming we don't get uh, tomed this turn or tombed so because they do play I think they play Tormod's uh, Crypt and things like that. I think we're sort of forced to try to cast the Croxa. Even though Dollars to Donuts, it gets counterspelled. He should block because he wants to stop knowing me. <laughs> value out of the yard before he potentially exiles it. If we're just going to lose 20 cards to uh, attack, better to try to get some value out of it first. This looks like his hand might be pretty bad. Hmm? Maybe not anymore. He still has to deal with our board. So he may be slightly ahead on cards now, but he still has to deal with our board. I think we'd like to hit a land if possible. Interesting. Unfortunately, we don't have another land, or we could immediately recast it. Channel is close. event a little bit. Thank you. 
So we have to assume he has some counter magic in hand after having drawn four and two since then. Odds of us being able to stick Croxa here are pretty close to zero. If he continues to just counterspell things, he is dying to our board. Alright. I guess you just take out all of your bell cards in this matchup, right? I should be taking out the timer that calls the dead as well. My phone's ringing, but it's downstairs, and I'm recording. So we're not answering. One of the problems with having stairs is, uh, and having a home phone, which is stupid. Ah, <laughs> uh, he ate my Croxa. He's probably going to eat my Oxa, too. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six. We're not at Ox yet, but it wouldn't be that hard to get there. Sure. Still missing land pretty pretty hard here. Which sucks. Um, we probably just cast Chandler so we have Bone Crusher and Shredded up. Now we won't cast anything so that we have uh, Bone Crusher Heartless up to kill the Lurus. We have a lot of cards and we're pretty far ahead here. Plenty of cards if he wants to draw. Here goes our ox. So we still got uh, three croxes and an ox in there somewhere. Um, 
because we have Heartless and Murderous and Elspis, I think we try to nuke this out. That's totally fine. Pretty okay with card disadvantage at this point. one thing you want to cast? Okay. That's an interesting call. getting enough land here. So he's going to cling again. So I guess we're Scavenger Hawk. So these are all odd. Maybe we just do, or even rather, maybe we just do this. Still trying to play around Extinction Event. Shade for us. Probably just gonna nightmare this next turn. Unless he gives us a better target. unfortunate. Really making it difficult to apply pressure. Two Croxes remaining in our deck. We 
get to check for discard here. Gibson claim. Wow, he might actually mill us out. It's looking more and more like he's actually gonna mill us out, like he's gonna stall effectively enough that we can't uh, we can't get through. this at this point. Virtually anything kills him now. So he just doesn't run Graveyard Hate or he just didn't draw it? He's doing this to gain three life, I assume? Or drawing a card with it? I can see why people wouldn't enjoy playing against that deck. It's very, very controlling. Really, really drags the game out. Which isn't really the sort of thing people are looking for after uh, having just survived through like Omnath and Uro and all the decks that just drag the game on and on forever by gaining infinite life. Are there any deal things today that I care about? No. 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 Oh my god, there's one pack. Man, one game. One game of magic. 40 minutes. <laughs> Holy shit. We're not used to uh, not used to the positively glacial pace of Magic the Gathering compared to Legends of Runeterra. Well, that was, uh, that was a game. I don't want to drag it out too long, but uh, we will get back to a little longer form content as we continue because there's really no way to avoid it if you're going to run into Mill. But we did run into Mill, and we did win the game. At least uh, a small sample size, but it felt like it's trying to prove the concept that, yeah, this deck, uh, this deck seems favored against that deck, and I should have taken all of my mill cards out. Um, definitely take out all the, all the uh, time rest calls the deads and all of the, uh, the two drop fish mill boy, and uh, yeah, should be good. My name is Gravity Groove for Not Safe for Work Arena. I hope you've enjoyed uh, our return to form here, and if you would like to see more content, we play Hades, we play Legends of Runeterra, we play uh, Arena, and uh, whatever the hell else strikes my fancy in future. If you did have fun, please consider being cool enough to give me a thumbs up. Regardless of if you do, I will give you one. Maybe two is too many. One. And um, <laughs> that's the best I can do, man. 
Uh, we're going to keep trying to recover from surgery. We're going to keep trying to recover from uh, living in a post-apocalyptic hellscape. And until next time, I will see you. Boom. Later. Thanks for hanging out.